the reef restoration program on Badgergal Island was a traditional owner-led project with our rangers and our partners. We've had workshops and planning meetings and we've just completed the field surveying on Badgergal Island where we did bird surveys, weed surveys and surveying the animals over on the island. Well, the Reef Authority is interested in investigating some weed and pest threats across islands in the Great Barrier Reef World Heritage Area to understand the severity and extent of potential weed and pest threats on high value islands like Badgigal. Well, the, yeah, there's a huge benefit in partnering with the traditional owners. We've had a full day working together. We've learnt so much being able to walk together through country with people who have just have such a deep connection to this place. It's making sure that the things that we plan to do are respectful of the culture here. Um, I think country will benefit. The Reef Authority and the Field Management Program will benefit from everything that we learn. And I think we just work more effectively that way as well. Being on Budgigal Island, so that's our language name for Stevens and Island. Bring it back to that perspective of the traditional names. You know, it gives us more ownership and more value on what we're doing here. Very important day today, today too. It's Anzac Day, it's a public holiday, but we've got to do these projects because they're very important to us and to the community. So the project we're doing is the restoration of reef islands and the, the threats to the island habitats like guinea grass, vines and any other invasive pests, you know, rats, ants, anything like that we're going through doing the ecological assessments today. Already we've discovered new species here introduced and we're hoping to find a lot more over the next two days. Yeah, we're just doing a botanical survey here of Stevens Island and um, walking through the rainforest. One of the things we're doing is mapping all the different vegetation types on the island. But we're also looking to build up the, the species list for the island and that are forming this vegetation community. And Naomi, this one here we haven't seen yet. This is a um, understory tree. It's not on the list. Well, its name was Polyalthia australis. And it's in the custard apple family, the Ananaceae family. And uh, just a small understory tree, you know, pretty common rainforest tree on the east coast up into Cape York. We might just collect that, Naomi. And one of the things we do with some of these species is we collect a, a botanical specimen of these. And that helps us to verify or its identification by taking it back to the lab and we'll put it in this plant press here and dry the specimen we'll put a tag on it and everything like that and then uh, tonight back home we'll, we'll confirm its identification and if we didn't know what this plant was then we'd send it to somewhere like the Queensland Herbarium or the Australian Hop Tropical Herbarium and we'd get that confirmation but importantly also you're collecting plants for your own herbarium for Amanda Barrow. Yeah I've started doing mine so that I've got our own herbarium for like um, what's been on our country, on our sea country, um, not just uh, here on the islands, but also doing it on the coastline of Caramine Beach and Cali Beach. And like looking at, see what sort of vegetation and plant life we've got over here compared to over there. So it's very interesting, like, um, yeah, finding new species and I love the idea of it and for future identification and something that I've got to keep for identifying my, my trees and all my vegetation around in my sea country. So what our job here on this survey is we're looking to find as many animals as we can and also with a bit of an emphasis on seeing if we've got any invasive species. So what the team's doing here is we're, we're collecting soil samples along this 50 metre tape that we've run out and the purpose of that is to collect those samples, mix it all up 
and collect two vials of the samples that we can send off to the eDNA lab. And eDNA is improving our, our methods to see if there's any eDNA in these soil samples. So that's the purpose of running this long tape and then collecting samples every two and a half metres. Basically, you pick this site at the top of the ridge, as a close to spring. You might attract some feral animals, such as cane toads, rats. So yeah, it's a good area for some, check the DNA here. It would be really great for Mandaburra to take on more of these projects so that we could go forward with the restoration of our reef islands to make sure that the flora and fauna aren't being invaded by invasive species so that we can keep going back to the islands for many years to come. It's such a blessing that Mandaburra does get to look after these islands because without us taking care of these islands we don't know what condition that they would be in it wouldn't be a place that people could go and visit. So it's really great that we get to look after these islands and make it a place that's beautiful and for people to come and visit for many years to come. This helps us to rediscover our culture that was taken, denied from us. And we're working now with many departments, trying to bring it all back together so we all can benefit out of it. Western science and indigenous cultural knowledge together completes the missing links. So it's not just the traditional owners that are going to benefit out of this, but every single Australian. That's what we're doing it for.